Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here, and you know he's all about options. That's what you're always saying. I got options. I got options. What no, are the yeah, options? the options are to to get the equity out of your house at the most cost effective way that's going to save you the most amount of money, paying off credit cards, home improvement, whatever you want to do. And that's one of the reasons you would use the Richard Takato Companies instead of a bank because they give you so many options, and it all starts with one free five minute phone call seven zero four. 800-4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Cotto Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. They say there are only two things certain in life, sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at sweet dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little With extra. a little extra. Uncensored, unedited, and almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Hey, so you know how uh, it's so frustrating when somebody who is younger than than we chalks up everything that we say that they disagree with as uh, uh, us being old, our right. being old. Yeah. Riggins has this uh, video that he showed me, and it's a guy, he's older than we are. He's a lot older than we are. Yeah. And he's sick and tired of young people saying, well, you old, you old. So this is his advice on when that happens to you, something that you can do that he does. I don't know what it is with the young boys. They, they want to throw stuff out, but they can't take it back. They can't take what they dish out. The young boy want to call me old. I say, what? Why you always got to call me old? He say, you is old. It's true. You is old. Okay, I'm old. Well, let me tell you a truth. Your grandma got good inside the mouth skin. <laughs> That's true. You want to get mad? I'm telling you the truth. I found out on the trolley in '68. She got good inside the mouth skin. Now, it was all funny when you was telling me the truth. Now I'm telling you the truth. Stand on business. I thought we were standing on business. Stand on business, young man. Ask your granny. Ask about me. I found out on the trolley, the trolley in '68. <laughs> awesome. I've never heard a description like that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. the mouth skin. Inside the mouth skin. <laughs> yeah. What you do? Stand on business. <laughs> it's so good. I love that. I'm just telling you the truth. And you can tell he's old because he's got the camera about mm, <laughs> two to three inches away from his face. Yeah. Let me tell you something about your grandma. She got good inside the mouth skin. <laughs> Vile. <laughs> Oh, it's so uh, gross. That's hilarious. Yeah. I'm going to use that all the time. Ask her about me. Ask her. Now, I say he, he's <sighs> a lot older than we are. He may not be. He may just look and sound a lot older than we are because we're so young. Well, he talks about hooking up young in 68. Sounded. Yeah, that was the year you were born. I was born so. in 68. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know, Rick. It is frustrating, though, when you're trying to have a conversation with someone, and it's because you're old. It's not because I'm old. It's because I have a differing opinion from you. You know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Every, everything can't be because you're old. But I am old. I get that. Okay. I, mean, I, I get it. I think that they do that most of the time because they don't really have an intellectual argument. Yes. It's correct. their, their way correct. of shutting down an argument. Yeah. You know. Boomer. Either that or, you know, they say, all right, I'm either going to call him old or a racist. Oh, I've never been called a racist. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's the, the thought <laughs> process of shutting down the argument. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been called a racist, but I have been called a white devil. So it's, yeah. there's, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think the jury's out. <laughs> whether or not you're a white devil or not. I'm leaning, mm. Some days yeah. I'm leaning more towards yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The D is for devil. Right. Take devil Take rob. Take devil rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you the, use a devil. Hey, when y'all got your driver's licenses last, well, you you did over the online, right? No, I, I had to go to the DMV. Oh, did you? Yeah. And you got the thing, the yeah. little page? This is stupid. Yeah, I couldn't even buy beer with it. Oh. I, I went into the grocery store and I was like, oh, I don't have my new ID. 
So I brought that in. She was like, you can't use it. I was like, oh, well, I'll just go get my old ID. It's in the car. And she was like, you can't use that either. I was like, I went, oh, my God, what am I going to so do? So you have two forms of identification yeah. that show that you are old enough to buy beer. And they're like, can't use either one of them. Yeah. At least at the grocery store I went to. Why? Why do you? Because you Same. can get an, um, a state-issued yeah. ID that's not a driver's license. Well, then that doesn't actually, have a, a, but it's got to be, but it has, it has a, an current. expiration date on it. It's got an expiration date and yeah. on that paper it says this is not a valid form, yeah. doesn't it? I think mine did. For driving purposes, it is valid. Da, 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 da. Well, driving per yeah, driving purposes only. Only. And yeah. what happened to them giving you your picture driver's license right there before you leave? Yeah. That's what I was about to say. With all the technology it's as, going as, back as is advanced, why is it not just spitting that thing right out and I'm leaving? Yeah, I don't know. It used to be that way. Yeah. Like 20 years ago, you could do this. I think a lot of it now is because... Uh, it's the like this one yes it's the real id and the whole thing yeah. and because they're all they're with the barcodes and all that it has to be done differently because you know when you order if you order uh alcohol via something like doordash or instacart or whatever they come and they have to take a picture of your id and it get and it like has the code they on the scan back it. Of it. So, yeah they scan it that's why th that's uh, um that's how i learned i didn't have a license can you get yeah. alcohol delivered was expired yeah. delivered to you outside of the hours that um let's say the abc stores are open because in north carolina our liquor stores are run by yeah. the government I, well, you I, can't just go to a private liquor store i've never purchased liquor it's only yeah. been like wine from the grocery store okay so beer I, when it's I, near I don't know. liquor when it's yeah. quicker it's whatever. only been only been wine from the grocery store but yeah so they gave me this yesterday and i was like and i thought the same thing when i was standing there when i got my driver's license at 15 in louisiana she was like Give me 10 minutes, I'll have mm -hmm. your license done. Yeah. You walked out of there with a hard license with all the information on it. It's got to be something with the... the now with the real ID. The mine in South Carolina with no problems. I mean, like, I got mine that day. Really? It, has, yeah. it was the real ID. Yeah, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't understand it. Yeah. It just seems like they just spit that thing right out and you'd be good to go. North Carolina's going to hell. That's yeah, well, South Carolina is a, a more free state than yeah. North Carolina is. They, Show you know, not as not as much government control yeah. of, of the state's citizens and whatnot. Um, but I thought that too, Ace. I thought if it and I usually do this with things. If it's done more uh, efficiently in Louisiana, then something is messed up. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something on so, your end yeah. is wrong. <laughs> right. It's almost like even Louisiana has this, this, and this. Yeah. What is your damn problem yeah. <laughs> in North clearly, Carolina? Clearly, you need a new system. <laughs> if that's a, that's if a good Louisiana rule is uh, is scooping your ass on technology, yeah. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> yeah, and even I mean, even worse than that is if Mississippi is has something that another yeah. state wouldn't have. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah. I don't know. I just think it would spit it right out, keep people moving. So now, if you wanted to buy alcohol, that you wouldn't be able to do it until you get your picture, new updated picture driver's license, right? Apparently so. Now, it does say on this, uh, until I get my... Uh, it says, if DMV returns your old ID card license, which they did... You may use it for photo identification until your new driver's license or learner's permit arrives. Mm. But, oh, he got a learner's permit. Uh, uh, but, you learning. Again, the, what the, you learning? The girl came to the door that day and said, hey, your license is expired. And I said, no, it's not. And she <laughs> said, um, and she actually said, yes, sir, it is. And I'm hmm. going to go, uh, you don't have to be a bitch about it and say, sir. <laughs> what? <laughs> she was crazy. Nice. I do forget sometimes uh, how old I am. Uh, and like I'll hold it like I was leaving the gym that day and I opened the door and this girl goes oh thank you thank you sir I was like you calling me sir damn that's she's being nice no it's very it's been, it's polite yeah of course I just keep thinking like and I'm I'm not that much older than you and in reality I'm like probably thirty years older than her <laughs> so it's like she's she's correct I'm the one who has the problem I would say also yes sir no ma'am to people way younger than me yeah, yeah I do too yeah, I, I say especially ma'am. Yeah, I absolutely. Do I yes, ma'am. Yeah, if a guy's pissed me off. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> no. Yeah, Ace is getting called sir. He's, 
I'm, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah they're polite. And, and, no, I don't get upset or outwardly upset. I was like, damn, do I like that much older than this person to call me, sir? But in reality, I do. I just don't realize it. I'm swinging on the next person. <clears throat> Having a much younger wife has given me a very distorted view of of uh, of my age. I guess sometimes I don't Maybe. think about yeah. how old I am. And that's why Riggins does his part to keep you grounded. <laughs> keep you grounded. In check. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Ace and TJ show with a little something extra. This is the extra funny podcast. Our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here, and you know you got a lot of pressure on you right now with the credit card debt. Let Richard help you. What are you going to do? We're going to skip summer and make payments in the fall. How about that? Nice. And the best part about it is they're going to do that using the equity in your very own home. All you have to do is let Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies walk you through the process. It starts with one free five-minute phone call, 704 800 4719. 704 800 4719 or online at homewithrichard.com. Richard Takato Companies, Equal Housing Opportunity, NMLS number 38652. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitron. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron.